How do we import tables and queries from Access into Excel? I'm going to use VBA to automate this entire process and make it as user-friendly as possible. My database has a very simple form. The form has only two simple list boxes. The left list box lists all the tables in my database. I named all the tables with a TBL starting convention. And the right list box has a listing of all the queries in my database. Once we have those list boxes filled, we can just click on any of these listings, for instance, table customers, and it will export that table to Excel. How do we do this with VBA code, Visual Basic for Applications? I assume you know a little bit about VBA. So I'm going to use the first code when the form opens, which is a form open event. We are going to do the following. We are going to declare a few variables. I use for variables of the object type always the O starter for object. We declare a few other variables of the string type. We make sure that the list tables, which is the left list box, is going to be of the value list row source type and the same for the list queries. We empty what was in there from previous open events. And then we fill the left table, list tables, with all the table names that start with TBL. So we eliminate or we skip all the access tables. The best thing to do that is using a for each loop. For each OTD in the current database, table definitions, that is the collection of table definitions in the current database. If the left part of that otd.name, the first three characters is TBL, then we want to add to the list tables the name of that otd. Don't forget to close your for each loop. And we do something similar for the right box, list queries. We do a for each loop again, this time for OQD. OQD is of the query definition type. Each time you open the form, this will start and populate the two list boxes. Once we have the two list boxes populated, we want to make sure that each time you click on a list box, either the left one or the right one, it's going to do things. It's going to export those records to Excel. So we start a list box after update event. This time make sure that you have a record set variable. ORS is my naming convention for a record set of the DAO type. DAO stands for all access database record set types. Dot record set. I use a counter of the long type and a string as format. We also need to declare variables for Excel. For Excel. In order to do so, you have to make sure that the Microsoft Excel library is active. Uh, active in Excel. Go to references in VBA and make sure that the Excel library is active. Once that is done, you can declare variables of the Excel library dot application. Excel.workbook object type and Excel.worksheet object type. We initialize all the variables of these object types that we have declared. When you initialize variables of the object type, you have to use the set keyword. O is to be referenced to an Excel application object. Create the object Excel application, dot application. Don't forget the quotes at the beginning and at the end. Then we are going to initialize the workbook type. From Excel, the collection of workbooks, we are going to add one. So it, it creates a new workbook. 
and we will use OWS as a reference to the first sheet in the collection of sheets of that new workbook. What should be the name of that object worksheet? The value that we had selected in the list tables. Table employees, table products, table supplier. Then we need to create a record set type. We declared ORS as a type of the DAO record set, set ORS from the current database, open the record set, and you can use the name of the table you want to open. It's more coming. The same subroutine in the same event. We are going to import everything into Excel. It's the same after update event. We discussed already how the code starts. Now we are going to look for all the fields of the table's record set. Why? Because we want to know the labels of those fields, the names of those fields, so we can put them in Excel on top of each column in the first cell. So we loop through all the fields of the record set, as many as there are. We run i from 0 to the count minus 1. You could run it from 1 to the count. If you start at 0, you have to run to count minus 1. The first cell in the worksheet object starts in row 1, column i plus 1. So the first time 0 plus 1 is 1, because Excel starts everything at 1. Access starts everything at 0. We take from the fields collection of ORS, the, the first item in the fields collection, i0, remember in access everything is zero based, take the name of it. Then we are going to make sure that we use the right format. So we do that for a select case thing. What is the type of that first field, the second field, the third field? If it's of the date type, we are going to use a format, two digits for the month, two digits for the day, four digits for the year. If it's of the currency type, we use this format and select. We are going to uh, change the number format of those cells in the entire column according to S format. We close the loop so it keeps running from 0 to 1, etc. as many fields as you have, minus 1. We copy the total record set into Excel, starting in cell A2. A1 has the labels, B1 has the labels. So we start in A2. So in starting in cells 2,1, which is cell A2, we copy from the record set. Each object ORS, the record set from Access. We, um, we auto fit the entire column of every cell, the entire row, so things fit nicely. Then we make sure that O application is visible. You had accessed it, but it was not visible yet, and you want to see your result. And you close your sub. Now we need to do something similar for queries. Queries have an added problem, though. We need, first of all, some variables again, like before. There is nothing new at this point. We discussed that all before. There is an extra problem this time. Queries may have parameters. So you may have to specify what how the parameters should be set. So they have to be set first. So we talk to the query definition collection, the specific one that you had selected, one of the queries you had selected. Use a for loop to set each of the parameters. For i equals 0, 2, the current database query definitions dot parameters dot count minus 1. Go to the value of the first parameter and set it through an input box. Close the loop. Open the record set with the set keyword. If the record set has a record count of zero, then we tell the user there are no records. 
according to the parameter you used. If there are records, great, we have to export them to Excel. That's going to be the last part of the code. It's in the same list queries after update. It's actually a complete copy of the previous sub from the set keyword on. The only thing you have to be careful for, make sure that you change list tables into list queries. We are talking now to the right list box. Don't include this one, for we have already opened the record set at the beginning of this sub. We look for all the fields again. We put some labels on top. We do again some nice formatting. If it's a date, we format that nicely in Excel, otherwise close the select casement stop. We determine the number formats according to S format. Close the loop. Copy from the record set again, starting in A2. Make sure that you auto fit the entire row and the entire columns. Make Excel visible so you can see the results. In access. Here is the form. I open the form, you see it is nicely filled through the code. And let's say you want the table suppliers to be exported. Click on it. There is Excel. It has everything nicely auto fit. I don't save the results. I click on table categories. These are the categories. Those don't save. Table contact. You see the table employees. These are the employees. So now let's test the queries. Products per category. Hey, there is apparently a parameter. If I don't type anything in there, I will get all the products per category. Beverages, condiments, etc. I could have filtered for only the C, the condiments. Products with their components. Which country do you want? Let's say I want the USA and the United Kingdom. So I can just type a U and I get only United Kingdom and USA. Had I selected none, so just click OK, then you should get every country in your database. If you want to know more about this, I have four tools for you. Two access tools, two Excel tools. They are CD-ROMs that have more than 1500 slides on each one. They discuss all the details about access or VBA in access. All the details about Excel and VBA in Excel. I wrote those for you. You can find them at mrexcel.com or .amazon.com and just type my name Gerard Verschuren in amazon.com and it will give you all the tools created for you.